okay, this is lesson 7.5, and this is volume of cylinders, cones, and spheres. Much like the last lesson, we're going to do one example of a cylinder, one of a cone, and one of a sphere, and I'll leave the other ones for you. And they're actually the exact same shapes as the last lesson, but instead of finding surface area, we're going to find volume. So I've listed the volume equations here. I'm going to use the first version of each one uh, for our calculations. Let's start with cylinder. So the volume of a cylinder, the equation says pi r squared h. So we have to identify which one's the radius and which one's the height. The radius is of the circle, the height is of the cylinder. So our equation would just be pi 22 squared times 36. And the nice thing here is we don't have to do any extra calculations, no Pythagorean theorem, no nothing. We just got to plug it in. Pi 22 squared times 36. If you don't want to use brackets, you can just type times 36, and that would work too. And we end up with 54,739.1. And we're in centimeters cubed now because we're doing volume. Okay, I'll leave the second cylinder for you. Let's try a cone. The volume of a cone is four. Nope, that's wrong. It is not four. Where is my whiteout? Written above, it's just pi r squared h divided by three. Our r is of the circle, our height is of the cone, no Pythagorean theorem. Pi five squared times 10 divided by three. Pretty straightforward for volume. Let's just type this in. Shift to get to pi, five squared times 10 divided by three. And we get 261.8. And we're in meters and it's volume, so we're meters cubed. All right, there's another example of a cone. You can try that one on your own. Let's finish with our sphere. The volume of a sphere is 4 pi r cubed divided by 3. Now this is the trickiest one because we have to know how to do cubed. Our radius is right here. It's 4. If you're given the diameter, you just have to divide it in half to get the radius to start. So we've got 4 pi 4 cubed divided by 3. And let's see how we do this one. 4 pi, and then we've got 4 for radius. And cubed, you have to find your exponent button. I actually have an x cubed button, so I could use that. I'm going to use my exponent button, though. Yours might say x with an exponent y. It might say y with an exponent x. It might look like the roof of a house, like an upside down V. But look for your exponent button. Mine looks like that, cubed. And then i got to divide it by 3. And my answer is 268.1. That's my answer. 268.1, and we're in feet, and we're cubed because we're volume. And that's it for volume. Volume's pretty straightforward. Just use the equation, plug in the sides that we know the measurements for, and punch it in the calculator. And that's it for lesson 7.5. Thanks for watching.